Hey guys, today we're going to be going over Took and diving into how you can truly master this mystic. We're going to be going over two builds for Took, the perks involved in each, how to play the build, and finally, how to approach each matchup. So the three perks we're going to want for the Brawler Took build are Pastoral Aid, Suffocating Bomb, and Sustained Growth. These three perks work in tandem to create a Took that can capture an area and dominate it. Pastoral Aid allows us to not be affected by our own gas, and then things like Suffocating Bomb make that gas deadlier to fight in. So if you can draw the enemy into your gas, or cover a point and scare the enemy away from an important objective with your gas, those are both bonuses of the build and how it's supposed to work. Sustained Growth empowers your light attacks to be a lot stronger and they're going to help you deal with things like Marianne and Robin who are going to be dodging your attacks instead of blocking them. This build is going to completely excel at holding down capture points, the winch, and the chest as the game goes on. You're going to force your enemy to either fight you in an unwinnable condition or lose valuable tr time trying to outweigh your gas. Now, when you're not locking down a specific capture point uh, or, you know, uh, covering an important area, you should lead into the fights with your gas. This is a great way to soften up your enemies before the fight even begins. By sapping away at their stamina, even momentarily with Suffocating Bomb, it can drastically reduce the ability of Marianne's and Robin's to dodge your attacks. And it makes battling John's and other Took's not easy, but it should swing the fight in your direction as having more stamina is usually a precursor to winning a fight. With this Took, you want to be using your ult selfishly to heal yourself most of the time. Uh, the only thing you should be aware of is that you are an easy target for assassination and to be headshot by something like a Marianne when you uh, ult. So you have to be mindful of that. You want some space so that you can ult so that you're not assassinated, and preferably if you could just dip behind a corner real quick so that they can't just headshot you is, is preferable. But if you're about to die, you have a sliver of health, ulting for full health can sometimes bait the enemy into trying to light attack you to finish you off, and then giving you an opportunity to come back and hurt them or kill them. Now the second build that we're going to talk about is Support Took. And the perks that we're going to run for Support Took are Medicinal Potion, Deep Rooted, and Vampiric Bludgeon. Now, this build is much, much more difficult to execute, and I would highly suggest running this only when you're in a duo or a full party. And it's crucial to have another melee character on your team. I know that's a lot of caveats, but uh, they're very necessary. So obviously this build is based around support. Uh, things like Deep Rooted is going to expand your ult's ability to see your enemies. Medicinal Potion gives you the ability to heal your own team. And Vampiric Bludgeon will give you a little sustain in the fights, which is important. In the team fights, you want to be throwing your potions onto your, your melee partner that you've partnered with in this, in this game. Every time you can. That's going to heal them and allow them to sustain in the fights for a very long time, so long as they don't get assassinated. That is where you come in. Your job is to keep your melee companion from being assassinated. Um, you want to disrupt with light attacks and heavy attacks where you can and assist your, your partner, but the main thing is keeping him from being assassinated because a Chon or a Took that's in your healing gas is going to be extremely difficult to take out because they're constantly healing. If a Marianne or a Robin hits them in the body with a shot, by the time they can get through a block or another shot, they're pretty much healed from the, from the first volley. So it can be crucial, but you have to keep them from getting assassinated, it, and it's your main job. Um, it is going to be difficult at first, and it's it's a much more niche build than the other Tooks build, but if you do this correctly, it's possible for you and another melee to full wipe an entire enemy team by yourself. Again, it will be difficult though. There's going to be a large learning curve as this build is nothing like any other character plays in the entire game. So 
understand that if you use this build there's going to be a learning curve and it's going to be a little bit painful at first but it can be good and it can be done one of the greatest advantages of this build actually is that after team fights instead of ulting to get your team to full health you can save that by using your gas to heal everyone up and be able to almost always ult in the middle of a fight and potentially change the tides if you ult and you get a john or a marianne maybe in your ult heal yourself up uh, as well then you can tank damage you know you're you're taking damage that could have otherwise been on your robin or your marianne your john's able to fight longer your marianne's able to fight longer it's going to really turn the tides of the battle and you're going to see a lot of wins from that now the matchups are pretty straightforward for took um when you're going against a mary ann you're not going to want to use your right click using your right click is a real fast way to get assassinated or shot in the head by a uh, good mary ann you're going to want to light attack spam but you're going to want to do it kind of in a, in a special way you want to get nose to nose with her before you start attacking if you can make her dodge before you even get to her that's great she's used up a dodge now you want to get nose to nose and then light attack spam what that does is if marianne or a robin don't perfectly dodge your attack and time the iframes right your attack is so long with the mace that you're going to hit them anyway and if you can hit them two times with sustained growth you're going to kill them you're going to need the full three if you're running the support build but just two hits with sustained growth will kill a marianne or a robin on the spot now since we've mentioned robin he is pretty much a free fish if you can uh, get up to him his only um danger lies in as you're walking up to him if he's able to charge a shot and hit you in the head you can kind of walk up to him with a block ready and just ignore it after that and light attack spam the same way you would do a marianne he doesn't have the capability to melee you down. He can't rapid fire or headshot you quickly because he needs to charge. There's not a lot of danger once you get up onto him. Now, Tooks and Johns are a fairly skill-based matchup. Um, the only real thing you've got to be worried about that you know maybe you're not aware of is the right clicks. If a John or a Took right clicks you, you will lose all your stamina if you don't do a perfect parry and then they will just beat you to death. So you can't just hold block against a John or another Took if they're gonna right click you. You wanna time it so that you hit space bar or you hit your block right as that attack's going to hit you. And then that will stagger them for a very long duration, allowing you to get your own heavy attack in. And with Took, if you can get one heavy in, the heavy will stagger them long enough that if you immediately use another heavy, it will insta-kill anyone in the game. No one can take two of Took's right clicks in the chest. So if you do a perfect parry, right click, right click, anyone in the game is dead. And there's no way to get away from it because you're staggered the whole time. It's disgusting. But you have to get the perfect parry off. And if you don't get it off, you're kind of dead in the water. So Took is one of the most difficult to play champions and has a really high learning curve i think personally i didn't start getting decent it took even after having played the game for a while until i was level seven or eight with him so you're gonna have to play some games but i think overall the return is amazing took's one of those characters that you just feel like you go into a game and you turn the tides like single-handedly so a lot of risk a lot of reward um but yeah, that's that's how I see Took, and hopefully I help some of you guys out. If you have any questions or comments, if I've left anything out or you didn't understand something, comment down below. Let me know. I'm going to read all of those and reply to every single one that I can get to. Um, and thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.